Greetings everyone, Core here, and we're back for movie number two. So last week I didn't see a movie, I was going to see Gemini Man, uh, I was even interested in Adam's Family a little bit, but honestly the Adam's Family didn't look too interesting, and Gemini Man I heard really bad things about it before, so I kind of nixed it. So this week that's why I went to go see two movies, and the second movie is Disney's Maleficent. Um, man, uh, honestly I wasn't expecting much i was just expecting it to be a decent movie and it is a good movie it's definitely uh it it's funny because it, it starts off feeling like a typical almost like you know some of the disney remakes uh live action remakes and stuff like that even from the first maleficent it continues pretty well off and it, but it just opens up with this scene that just makes it seem like it's going to be something deeper and then it just goes back to like this fairy tale setup and it, it just everything was pretty good uh the best thing i mean i recommend it of course so it's definitely just as good as the first if you like the first uh if anything there's probably more action in this one for sure uh there's pretty much like a big scale war towards the end and it's a little ridiculous but uh it's it's interesting nonetheless but the details of it, uh, the the Aurora, she's fine. She is suitable. She does a really decent job. Uh, good job. I mean, she's. It's hard to work to really give character to a character that was pretty much asleep during the whole movie. Uh, so that's you know tough. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, the Prince Charming, of course, is a Prince Charming. He gets a little character, nothing really. I mean, most of the character, most of everybody is pretty stereotypical. There's not really much character development to them besides Melissa. Melissa, man, I cannot pronounce. I know how it sounds in my head, and I've heard it so many times, but I just can't pronounce it for some reason. Uh, Angelina Jolie's character, uh, she's pretty much the main stage, you know, every, she's the best thing about this movie, which makes sense, it's about her, and all her scenes are great, just her expressions, her, her tone, you know, giving these really, you know, dead, you know, face, you know, lines where they're just really sarcastic, they're threatening, uh, intimidating, you know, it just, everything works, all her scenes are great. You know, that's, like I said, that's the best thing about this movie. It's just all her scenes are pretty awesome. And, man, she she kind of hands it up. I mean, they, they kind of, throughout the movie, they kind of try to do, you know, the flip with the whole, you know, they kind of realize it's like, oh, yeah, we're kind of in a fairy tale, huh? And there's a couple lines that are a little cringy because it's like, uh, you didn't really have to say that. Uh, we kind of get it. You know, there's better ways. The writing could have been stronger for sure. But, it was alright. It was serviceable. It was passable. It was nothing too bad. Uh, it'll probably get the top grossing box office this weekend, even though there wasn't that many people in my theater. But granted, I saw it late. It was my second movie of the day, and Zombie Land started at 7:45. So, yeah, man, there's not really much to say about it because I try not to spoil the movie too much. I did find it interesting where they went with the story. I did kind of hate a couple things about it because from the first movie like I said I don't want to spoil it but when you get to that scene you're kind of like I thought they had said it was something different <laughs> and they kind of yada yada it you know a little bit the reason why they did that uh, why you know now it's coming around and I guess I mean it works it's just, I didn't really care for it too much. But after that, after about the halfway, I think um, it really feels more like a movie. Honestly, the the three fairies, the uh, what was it, the green, blue, and pink, <laughs> so stupid. Like they should have really took them out of this movie. They should have not made them as dumb. If anything, they feel like they're even dumber than the first one. Uh, they pretty much stay in their fairy forms the whole time. They don't even try to be, you know, humanoids. And it's, I just, I mean, those characters are stupid. Just even from the first one. So, I, 
I just hate every scene that they're in. Uh, but yeah, so that, like I said, the best thing about this is Angela Jolie's character. Um, really, that's pretty worth a mission. I saw an IMAX, which wasn't too impressed. Um, uh, there are, I mean, I could see how the larger format would, you know, is nicer to see more, you know, of the screen of what's going on and stuff, which, yeah, there is a lot of stuff to see, but for some reason, everything just felt very washed out, uh, especially pretty much all the scenes just, I don't know, like the color palette just didn't, it felt very washed out. It just didn't feel as vibrant, um, as it should have been, really. Yeah, granted, you know, Maleficent, she's supposed to be dark, brooding, you know, black and white for literally, but everything else, I mean, the force that she protects and everything's supposed to be mystical and magical, and you don't quite get that. Uh, I, a lot of the live action stuff seems to have that problem. It's just, they don't like color, <laughs> they don't like vibrant colors anymore, and it's just, it's a little sad, a little depressing. Um, the one thing too, I'll say, uh, I didn't care for too much. There was a little too much music. Um, it, they really used the music to try to, you know, control your emotions and how you should be thinking and feeling during certain scenes. Not most people probably won't catch on to that, but I found it a little annoying at the start. At the first half, like I said, once you get past halfway, it's you kind of forget about it. There's too much going on. So, yeah, overall. Pretty good. Um, Zombie Land 2 was definitely my better one. I had more fun with that one, but uh, yeah, first half of Melissa, Melissa Fit, uh, Mistress of Evil, which that subtitle is a little misleading, but she is known for that, of course. So uh, I just wish they didn't go with that. <laughs> they could have wanted something else, but man. Sometimes they just you just gotta hit the nail on the head, right? <laughs> so overall, good movie. Angela and Julie was still definitely the best thing about that movie. Everything else was pretty decent. Um, yeah, I mean, lots of nitpicks, but overall, it wasn't too bad that I wanted to leave. The you know, it got too annoying, but Angela and Julie definitely made it worth it. So. Next week, uh, I will actually be seeing a special feature of uh, the One Piece movie. I believe it's subtitled, the version I'm seeing, uh, which is the new One Piece movie, Stampede. So I will have a video up on that because I'm not sure if there's any other movies coming out next week. Uh, I want to see, maybe I'll go see uh, Jojo Rabbit this weekend. Uh, I got to go Hollywood, which uh, driving and everything else is kind of a little bit annoying, but I kind of really want to see it, so maybe I'll wrangle some friends or one go see it. But it might be a review on Sunday. We'll see what goes on with that. But until next time, guys. <clears throat> Later.